morning and welcome to our daily devotion. So I have another question for you today. Have you ever been betrayed? Has somebody broken your trust and you feel like you just can't believe that they would do that to you? And let me ask, pose it this way. If you knew that somebody you loved very much was going to betray you, would you stay in their company or keep their company until the time of the betrayal happened? I don't know that many of us would set ourselves up to be betrayed. But you know what? That's what Jesus did. He knew that he was going to be betrayed. And I often wonder how that made him feel. How did it make him feel to know that one of the twelve that he loved very much, that he depended on, he counted on, would betray him in the way that they did? It would make you wonder, I mean, how would it make you feel? And I often wonder about that. I wonder, you know, what Jesus must have thought in his back of his mind as he was coming into Bethlehem. They were getting ready to celebrate the Passover feast. You know, Jesus had been in in Bethlehem and he had been teaching and, and preaching and healing and um, all these things going on, you know, and Jesus told them, and it's recorded in Matthew that um, he said in Matthew 26 two. He said to his disciples, You know, after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man is to be handed over for crucifixion. Now, can you imagine what they must have thought? They didn't fully realize or fully understand themselves. And after that, they were in a home of Simon the leper. And a woman came to him and poured expensive perfume on his head. And his body and the disciples were just beside themselves especially Jesus and they're saying why why would you use expensive perfume and waste it like that when you could have sold it and given to the poor but Jesus told them that the poor would always be with you but I'm here for only a little while he kept telling them, telling them that he was not going to be there, that he was going to be killed. I just can't imagine what that would be like to know that I'm going to be handed over to somebody to be killed, that somebody that I trusted was going to betray me, and yet he kept moving forward. I just, you know, that's hard for me to comprehend. I don't know about you. And in verse 14, well, in verse 13, Jesus said that whenever the gospel is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be spoken of memory in her. And he also said in the verse before him that when she poured the perfume on my body, she did it in preparation to bury me. So Jesus was telling the disciples as he was going on that he was going to be killed. He was going to be crucified. And for some reason, they just didn't connect it. But at that moment, Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest, and in 15 he said, "What are you?" They asked, "What are you willing to give me to betray him to you?" And they weighed out 30 pieces of silver to him. And then from that point on, he began looking for the most opportune time to betray Jesus. I don't know, folks. That would be a hard pill for me to swallow. And I guess that's why we're not Jesus. This man loved us so much he knew he was going to be betrayed, but yet he still broke bread with the betrayer. He still associated with him. And I guess he always had known that one of his was going to betray him. You know how hurt you feel when you're betrayed? But I can't imagine how Jesus must have felt. 
and that betrayal was part of God's plan. Now, God would have filled that plan regardless if Jesus had, had betrayed him or not. But I just can't imagine how he would have felt. And today, I wanted to look at that. I wanted to try to put myself in Jesus' shoes and look through his eyes. And, you know, I can't do it. I don't know that I would have been able to do that. That I would still, if I knew somebody was going to betray me, that I would still hang around. But he did. And that even when they came to Passover meal, when he was reclining at the table, he said, Truly I say to you that one of you will betray me. But deeply grieved, they each one began to say, Surely not I, Lord. And he answered, He who dipped his hand with me in the bowl is one who will betray me. The Son of Man is to go, just as written of him. But woe to the man by whom the Son of God is betrayed. It would have been good for that man if he had not ever been born. And Judas, who was betraying him, had the nerve to say, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. Jesus said to him, You have said it yourself. So Jesus knew. Of course he knew it's God. I just don't know that I understand the full scope of that. The only thing I know is that Jesus went along with everything that was going on because he loved us. And he knew this was the only way. I encourage you to read Matthew 26 and read up till the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior. Step back and put yourself in the shoes of Jesus and ask yourself, what would you do? If you knew that somebody you loved and cared for and had been with all this time was going to betray you, would you still be there? Just a thought for the day. Thank you for joining me for our daily devotion. I, you know, this time of the year, the crucifixion really gets to me because I am so unworthy of what Christ did for us and for someone to love us so much it's just unbelievable to me. unbelievable and unthinkable to me I hope you have a beautiful blessed day please do not forget those on our prayer list I will see you all tomorrow morning for another daily devotion. God bless.